just the two men I've been looking for. Hi, sweetie. Thank you. That's cool. Thanks. Dad, can I have a few minutes with Court? Then I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still behind on my columns, so maybe the coffee, the coffee can wait until after I'm finished, okay? Okay, sure. Well, asking for help is a new experience for me, but I don't know where else to go or who else to ask. So, what's up? Is it Sarah? Oh, no. No, she's fine. She's still a little shaken by that incident with Ursula, but she's getting over it. It's Max that I need some help with. Well, how can I help you there? Well, he just doesn't seem to be able to come to terms with his brother's death. I was sure that once they got Ursula all locked up, that, well, that things would be better for him. But, I don't know, things are getting worse. Huh. He's now gotten it into his head that he wants to move to Texas. Wait a minute, what the hell is Max going to do in Texas? He says he wants to buy the old family homestead and turn it into the success that Steve promised it could be. Oh, boy. You know, I don't know what to do. I have tried everything, and I just can't get through to him. Maybe you could talk to him, Cord. Convince him to stay for a little while until his pain and his grief goes away. Then he could think more rationally about this ranch business. You know, uh, Max is a man who makes up his own mind. He doesn't pay much attention to anybody's advice. I know, but I know that he would listen to you, Cord. Please, you're my only hope. Okay, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll give it my best shot.